Today on the Belson Show, we're going to put some plugs in the wall in the garage. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsa's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsa. I'm your host, Bilsa. Well, we're putting plugs in the garage. I'm putting two in because I have no plugs in the garage hardly at all except for one on the wall over there. Just one over there. And there's one right here for that. And that's it. So I'm running everything off of two plugs and a 30 amp for the trailer. I'm putting the wall plugs in that snap in. Now, as you see over here, I've already put one in right there. The only thing is I got to get a GFI plug for that because it's right near the water. So I got to change that plug to a safe one, right? Leave a comment down below if I'm doing anything wrong, which I am because that's what I do. I've already got that one ran. I got that wire down and to the panel. So I thought to myself, you know what? If I don't record this, my fans are gonna be pissed. So I figured, what the hell? Fire up the camera and let's get her down. So I got the panel box off right here. So when you're doing this live, just be careful. If you know what I'm saying? But I did pick up a couple extra breakers. So I'm gonna put both plugs on their own. I know I can run two plugs off of 115, but I'm not gonna because if I run the heater, or anything like that off one. It is what it is. Now I was gonna put a 20 amp breaker in, but Federal Pioneer is closed up and these breakers are getting hard to find. So if you have yourself a Federal Pioneer, start collecting your freaking breakers, boys, girls, peoples, cause you're not gonna have them for long. So we got two 15s and like you see in the other video, I mentioned where I got them. We're going to hook up this one first because I already have that plug hooked up. Now I did use wire that's good for 20 amp and I'm only running 15 to it. And I tell you what it is, but I can't see it. It's uh, it's it's good for 20 amp anyway. Just take my freaking word for it. Why wouldn't you? So we're gonna flip you upside down, but then it'll spin you back around so you can see what's really going on. Cause that's what I do. Cause I'm gonna be working right here and you can watch me die. Why wouldn't you? I put in my doodads to make it safe. You know, that the wire goes through and you tighten them up and Bob's your uncle. So they're in. So now all you gotta do is feed this wire through here. Now make sure when you're doing this, you're just careful. Easy, careful, gentle, boys, girls, peoples. So we'll go through here like so, and we'll bring it up and around here like so, just until we get her in, Jim. All right, now sometimes these are a pain in the balls to get through because they got a groove, and the groove's just designed to take one wire, so it's pretty tight. It is. Are you watching? Probably not. Here, let me... There you go. How's that? Better? So we'll get this in here like this. Now, when I am hooking this up, it probably will stop talking because I got to concentrate so I don't let your cocksucker myself because who the hell wants to do that? Not me. All right, there we go. So that wire's in. I got to get myself some doodads and whatnots to pound them down. But for now, that's good. So we'll take this and we'll tighten this up like that. Don't want to do it too tight. Just tighten up the holder. And now we're going to want to go just figure out where you are here. These are my 30 amps for the trailer I put in. So I'm going to go under them and I got to catch the white bar here. And then of course the ground there. So we'll uh, grab a, ourselves a doodad. And I'm not going very far. So I only need about that much wire really. So you can cut off a lot of this extra. What a waste. Now remember. I'm not a professional, so don't try this at home. Frig, no, you better not. I don't want to be blamed for your death, Jim. Okay, so I just take a little razor blade and I just kind of, just give it a little bit of a slice. Make sure you follow the middle so you don't go through the wire. Here we go. Follow her up with another little slice at the end. Now you really don't have to slice all the way through. You can actually just start it on the end and pull it and it will rip. But I just did that because, you know, that's the way I roll. So unhook that. We'll take this and we'll go this way like that for now. We'll take this and it's gotta go into the ground. So we don't need that much wire because the ground's right there. So right about that much should do. So we'll take our screwdriver and we'll give this a little bend this way and then we'll undo the ground, which is right here. And then we'll take this and we'll move it back and stick it through there. Now remember, you can't get electric cock socket with this. Just be careful when you're doing this, boys, girls, peoples. Oh man, that's hard to get to. I might have to move up one. Can't get her down to the bottom there. Careful, easy. Okay, slow down, Jim. So we'll tighten that back up. We'll loosen this one up and we'll go in that one because it's going to be a little bit more safe to get to. So we'll slide her in the hole like so, and then we'll tighten her up. There we go. So the ground's on. So now what I want to do is I want to run the common. Now I'm going to take the common under my 30 amps because I don't want them to be that way. Just remember when you're feeding the wires, just feed them through nice and gentle and slow. There's no rush. So I'm going to go right there because it's right there. So we need to cut it off right about here like that. We'll give her a little splice job. Always remember to leave yourself extra if you need it. I don't need it, so I don't need much extra because I'm right there. So once you do that, you pick an empty, which is right there. Perfect. 
We'll take our needle nose pliers with lots of rubber on the end. Now they do make gloves for doing this too. And if you're not good at it, use a glove, Jim. So we'll stick that through there, just like that. We'll tighten her up. Common is on. We can give that a little push to straighten her out. So it looks nice and neat and tidy. There we go. Now I'm gonna give this a little loop because I want a little extra. You're always supposed to leave a little extra, something like that, eh? That way you have some if you need it. Like this, if you ever change your panel box and you can't put it in the same spot, some of the wires will be short. That's why they do that. But this wire here coming down here, if I ever do move the box, I can always put that wire in the top, which will give me that extra that I'm going all the way around. So that's why I cut that one so short, the white one so short. But this one I'll leave a little bit longer, just so everybody's happy, as me. So now that I do that, I always put them in here first, and then I tighten them down in here like so make sure they're good and then we can stab her in the stab block jim so these are just they're called stab blocks so what you do is you stab them and lock them do you understand what i'm saying so they go stab and lock boom there we go so that's off so we'll straighten this out and then we can uh, turn that on and now the plug should work let's go check that's all there is freaking to it captain so we'll plug the heater in and we'll turn her on there you go jim perfect we got her. So there's the first plug done. So now all I gotta do is the other plug. We'll do this together out here because you didn't see how I did this and then you know how I did the inside. Like I said, don't do that yourself unless you're 100% sure of yourself. If you're not, then don't do it, Cap. Like I was saying, these are the boxes I bought. They're designed to, if you don't wanna look for a stud, then you can just put a hole in it and push this in and it snaps and locks the box in. And I'll show you that as soon as we get there. So here I wanna leave myself some extra wire even though I get lost downstairs. So I'll leave myself some extra wire anyway. Now we need my blade, which I left downstairs. So I'll give this one a peel, like I said, but we'll just do the end like I was telling you. And then you'll see, you can just pull it back yourself. You gotta pull a little harder, but you'll go. See what I mean? Decent. So now we're gonna cut that off right there. We're gonna take our box and we're gonna decide we want this hole because that's where the hole is. I got vertical two by fours in this house. So <laughs> that's why the plug's so low to the ground because of, uh, I got verticals, I got another one here, here. So we gotta keep her kind of somewhat low, which is fine, whatever, it works. So we'll stick that through here, run this in here like this. Are you watching? Probably not. Why would you? Oh, I forgot to check the box to make sure it's gonna fit. We gotta trim a little bit more out. I forgot to check that, see, I got sidetracked. So we just gotta go back this way a little bit more. Not much, just a little. There we go. Perfect. Now it's probably too big. Why wouldn't it be? So let's try it again. So we'll put this in here like so. Now remember, I haven't hooked this one up in the box yet in case you're gonna think that I'm gonna electric cocksucker myself again, but I'm not. So tighten this up. Careful. Frig. Screwdriver's got a weird noise to it. What happened? There we go. So now that that's tight, we can spin this around and we'll throw the box in the hole. Now it's gonna be snug because that's the way I made it. As you see. Hey. Uh, ooh, hey. Ooh. Frig. It's gonna be real snug, Captain. Jim, we almost need a little bit more again. Just a tad. Hey, okay. there we go. There we go. There she is. We got her. So now we just push that in. Hey, hey. Oh yeah. See how it's nice and tight? That's where you want it. So there we go. So now what you do is you just turn this screw and it'll push the wings in. And you'll hear them twing. Go clean when they're past the drywall. There it goes. So now you just snug her up and it actually pulls the box into the wall and tightens, actually it tightens it up pretty good too. There she is, Captain. Oh yeah, that's nice and tight. And I'm telling you right now, they freaking hold good, they do. Big time. So there we go, that one's in. So now we can wire it up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just, I'll let me bring it down one. So you wanna make sure you hoop your ground around one of them screws, which is this guy. You hoop it, let me hoop it for you. There you go, hooped, tighten it, perfect. And then this goes to the plug, just like that. So we'll tighten that up, like that. We'll strip these. I always use needle nose pliers because it makes this job so much easier. So we'll slap this on here. Now I've changed every plug in my household and black to brass and white to steel. So silver, whatever. So that's the way I put all new plugs in the whole house and that's the way I did them. So that's the way I'm staying. I'm pretty sure that's the right way of doing it too. So now you just give it a little fold. Give it a little full, and then you line her in there, and Bob's a friggin' uncle. We'll get another power drill, because like I said to you before, I have no idea why they put such long screws in these. I think it's so you can suck the wire in. That's why I think they do it. If I did this for a living, I'd have one of these on hand at all times. Now, of course, just make sure it's kind of straight there, just eyeball her up. Get ourselves a cover plate. And I even covered up my dicker spot in the wall, Cap. 
there you go. Plug done, in the wall, looks mint, and she's good to go. So now all we got left to do is go downstairs and wire that one into the other breaker, and we're good to go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button down below. And remember, I'm not a professional, so don't try this at home. I love you all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.